from the small beginnings of pickleball in the early days to the global phenomenon that it, is, it has become, we are standing in front of the JW Marriott Pickleball Center, and that is what we're doing today. I'm Amy Sweeney, and I am your host, and this is Financing the American Dream. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Sean Wollen, who is a pickleball expert, as well as a business expert. And Sean, I've got to know, you did not start in your business. You actually started as a child actor. I did. That's yes. pretty impressive. It was a very unique way to grow up, <laughs> that is for sure. So I'm going to give a hint as to what you start in. You MacGyvered your way into pickleball. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, you know, one day I woke up and I had a broken tennis racket, some duct tape and a paper clip, and I thought, what could I do to make this work? <laughs> and here I am today playing pickleball. <laughs> so you started as, a, as the child version of MacGyver. Yep, I did play MacGyver as a kid. We had a flashbacks when he was a kid back, uh, on, on TV. So that was, fun. Awesome. that was fun. So how did you start in pickleball? Uh, funny story, not really funny. It was during COVID <laughs> and uh, I was bored. And uh, one of my buddies said, hey, let's go play pickleball. And I said, absolutely no way will I ever do that sport. <laughs> it looks like something for old people. It just didn't look fun. It looked boring. I'm like, yeah, it's with shuffleboard on the cruises, right? Is that right? <laughs> right. But uh, he invited me out. I played. I became addicted instantly. I went out after that day and bought everything I needed for pickleball. So. <laughs> How do you find that pickleball is helping? I mean, does, do you use it to get business? Absolutely. It's a, it's a community. And it's like a community that everyone respects each other, they love each other, and you belong, and you go there, you meet people. It's a fantastic way of meeting people and growing your business. So how do you feel like pickleball has taken over? I mean, is it, it's kind of like the golf of the new generation, right? It is. The greatest thing about it though, is you only have to do it for 15 minutes, or you can do it for three hours. You go there in the morning, you meet new people the whole time, you play, you talk business, you talk fun, you talk life. And it doesn't take you all day right. and it costs you thousands of dollars. Right. It's, you can go to a local park, put your right. paddle in, it's free. Right. And you meet people, you have a great time. So you actually are getting business from that. Absolutely. So you are kind of smart. You are MacGyvering your I'm way. MacGyvering my way <laughs> into more business. Absolutely. I am a pickleball novice. You were going to show me how to do this? Absolutely. most simple of all of the things of pickleball is okay. the dink. You're not swinging like this. It's okay. more of a, it's more of a, a flow. That's perfect. And that's a dink. Congratulations. So in the game of pickleball, we're going to have dink battles. Okay. So you're going to dink it back and forth until somebody makes a mistake and hits it too high. <laughs> and then it becomes offensive. Okay. You just you go into offense. You don't want to be on the line because if you step on the, in the line or go in while you're volleying, it's, it's an error. Okay, okay? so I want to stay want to back that. here. Yeah. I'm here with Cindy Metz, local real estate professional and pickleball expert. Have you found that pickleball has really helped your real estate business? It has. I mean, there. this is the best way to meet new people. And you can meet so many people in one afternoon or evening of playing pickleball. I don't think I've ever done anything where I've met so many people in such a short amount of time. Pickleball has become a big part of the real estate community. It has become more involved in real estate in general. Have you seen that it started to impact real estate itself? Well, I think the people who love to play or want to play or understand that it's a great way to meet other people, they want to live in communities that offer pickleball courts. Right. And some people want to have a pickleball court in their backyard. And that, you know, you have to really check the CCNRs because right. um, the older CCNRs didn't have pickleball to right. contend with, but the new ones, you know, you have the people who love pickleball and then you have the people who aren't so sure they like the sound. Right. So it's gonna be something that's gonna be coming up as far as some communities wanting to regulate it. Right. But for the ones that do allow it, do promote it, it's a great way to get people together.
As you can see, pickleball has become a global phenomenon. It's not only great for your health, it's great for your community, it's great for your business, and it's great for your network. Thank you for joining me today on Financing the American Dream, and I can't wait to see you next time. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.